Hey guys and welcome to another Minecraft Stadiums predictions video. This time it is the Harlings. The Harlings finally underway, so let's jump right into it. So up first we have Warwickshire versus Leitrim. Uh, Warwickshire were relegated from Division 3A last year and Leitrim made it to the semi-final so should be a close enough one. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Leitrim on this and I'm gonna say by three points I think they should be able to put it up to Warwickshire pretty well so Leitrim to win by three points. Up next we have Mayo versus Roscommon. Uh, Roscommon made it to the semi-final last year and Mayo was relegated from Division 2B last year. So they sh they're fairly evenly matched based on that. Um, so... A tough one to say, but Mayo, they're not doing too bad in the Harlem in the last two or three years. So, I think I'm going to go with Mayo on this one. Um, but I think Roscommon should put it up to him, so I'm only going to say by two points. I I think they might just outmatch them that little bit, so Mayo to win by two points. Next up, we have Monaghan versus Fermanagh. Monaghan finished fourth last year, and Fermanagh were Division 3B winners last year. So, this should be a close one. Um, a tough one. I'm going to say Fermanagh by two points, I think. The, they'll get that usual team teams tend to get after they get promoted where they have a, a good season so for mana to win by two points up next we have loud versus armagh loud finished fifth last year and armagh were division 3a runner-ups and in the group game armagh won by one point last year so i would say the advantage is still with armagh um i think it's going to be the same result again um, I, I think Armagh definitely could be the ones getting promoted this time around. So, Armagh to win by one point. Up next we have Tyrone versus London. Uh, Tyrone were Division 3A winners last year and London finished fourth last year. So it's going to be a close one. Uh, Tyrone are definitely doing well in the Harlan. Um, I think London... London are a bit hit and miss. So I think I'm going to give this one to Tyrone. And I'm going to say by three points. I think London, they're strong enough that they could put it up to them, but not strong enough to stay with them. So Tyrone to win by three points. Up next we have Mead versus Wicklow. Mead were relegated from Division 2A last year, and Wicklow finished 5th last year, so I would definitely put the advantage with Mead on this one, um, given that they're coming down from a higher division, so I'm going to go with Mead, and I'm going to say by 5 points. I think they'll definitely be the stronger team coming into this one, so Mead to win by 5 points. Up next we have Donegal versus Sligo. Donegal made it to the semi-final last year. Sligo were the Division 2B runner-ups last year. Uh, Donegal won the group game by two points, uh, but Sligo came back and won the semi-final by one point, so this could go either way. Um, so with that, I think I'm gonna go with a draw on this one. I'm going to say two, 12 to 115 I think I think they should get the draw of it so yeah don't need game to be a draw don't goal 215 Sligo 112 up next we have Derry versus Kerry 
Derry were Division 2B winners last year and Kerry made it to the Division 2A semi-final so uh, should be a close one Derry looking to do well Kerry on the verge of getting promoted last year just couldn't pull it off um, I think I'm going to go with Kerry on this one they're a very strong hurling team um, I'm going to say by 6 points I think they're definitely one of the strongest teams in that division, so carry to win by six points. Up next we have Carlo versus Kildare. Carlo finished fourth last year and Kildare finished fifth last year and the game was a draw, so so this could go either way, but I think Carlo are probably the stronger team. So I think I'm gonna go with Carlo on this. And I'm going to say by three points. I think Kildare will put it up to him, but Carlo will just pull away in the end. So, Carlo to win by three points. Up next we have Cork versus Limerick. Uh, Cork were Division 1 runner-ups last year, and Limerick finished fourth last year. And Cork won the game by nine points last year. So, it's definitely in Cork's favour, but Limerick are All-Ireland champions. I imagine they won't have as bad of a year in the league this year. So I think I'm going to switch it to go with Limerick this time and I'm going to give Cork a good chance. I'm going to say it's only going to be by two points. I think Limerick will correct their mistakes from last year so Limerick to win by two points. Up next we have Tipperary versus Leash. Uh, Tipperary finished fourth last year, Leash finished fifth and Tipperary won the game by four points last year so close one but I imagine Tip will probably come out a bit stronger this year so I'm gonna say by seven points I think they won't let Leash get in as close to him as they did last time so Tipperary to win by seven points. Up next we have Antrim versus Kilkenny. Antrim finished sixth last year Kilkenny made it to the semi-final and Kilkenny won by three points last year so while Antrim were unlucky to end up in the relegation playoff uh, and Kilkenny topped the group and made it to the semi-final Antrim kept them within three points and I think the result is going to be the exact same this year I think Kilkenny will still be too strong for them but Antrim will come very close so Kilkenny to win by three points. And our final game on Saturday is Wexford versus Galway. Uh, Wexford made it to the semi-final last year. Galway finished third last year. Uh, Wexford won the game by six points last year. And this ge the game this year doubles as the Walsh Cup final. So both teams are gonna come out pr a bit stronger when there's the extra bit of silverware at stake. So, I think Wexford can probably win it again this year. Uh, I don't think it'll be by the full six points again. I'm going to say it'll only be by two points. I think they'll cut it pretty close. So, Wexford to win by two points. And our first game on Sunday is Down versus Offaly. Uh, Down were Division 2A runner-ups last year, and Offaly were relegated from Division 1 last year. So. They, they'll be fairly close, but I'd probably be tipping awfully as the other finalist against Kerry this year. Should, well, obviously, if Kerry make it to the final, which I predict they will. Um, so I'm going to say awfully, but I think Down will really put it up to him, so I'm only going to give it to him by two points. I think awfully will just, just about get it, so awfully to win by two points. Up next we have Waterford versus Dublin. Um, Waterford were the Division 1 winners last year. And Dublin finished third last year. And the game last year was a draw. So, could be another very close one. But I think Waterford being the champions and probably coming out a bit stronger. I'd say they're going to get the win this year. And I'm going to say by four points. I think Waterford will really try to defend their title this year. So... Watford to win by four points. And our final game on Sunday is Clare versus Westmead. Clare finished fifth last year and Westmead were Division 2A winners last year. So 
I still don't think it'll be that close. Westmead are probably the weakest team in it this year. Well, Westmead or Leash. Antrim are definitely above both of them. Um, so I'm going to go with Claire on this one. I, it probably won't be by too much. I'm, I'm just going to say six points. I don't think they'll absolutely destroy him, but I think they'll get a good win over him. So Claire to win by six points. So there you have it, those are my predictions for the first weekend of the Hurling and be sure to also check out my football predictions as well as the results for both. So if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share and I will see you for the next one. <laughs>